Hi students today we are going to discuss about the human glandular system which is in unit 5 of grade 9 science and technology subject all of you be ready for the class please take out your book copy pen pencil and your other stationery too in previous class we discussed about the nervous system that is the system which help us to coordinate with external environment as well as it coordinate among the different organs of our body today we are just going to discuss about the human glandular system which is the another system of our body this glandular system already we have learned about the glandular tissue yes do you recall where do you study yes in this chapter only that means in the starting of this unit you have discussed about the different types of tissues where we have also discussed about the epithelial tissue in that epithelial tissue one of the type of epithelial tissue is glandular tissue do you remember okay in that glandular tissue what you have learned it is a kind of secretory tissue it used to secrete something here our glandular system is made up of different kinds of glands those glands are made up of glandular tissue so base just like in nervous system neuron is the basic unit here for the glandular system this glandular tissue are the base of this that means basic unit of human glandular system in this glandular system just see here in this picture what you see all over the body there are different types of glands in our body there are different types of glands which used to secrete some kind of liquid substance secretion okay and those secretion are very important to our body our physiological function so this glandular system play a very important role in our day to day life just see this question sometime when you see your friend is having some sour food like chaat is it and sometime you used to see the friend having some tamarind yes how do you feel if you see the some sour fruit or if you smell something sour fruit sourness then what do you feel you start to that means just salivate that means saliva feel in your mouth is it how does this that means in this way you feel that there is something sour taste yes when you get saliva in your mouth how do you feel you feel to have that food and how is this saliva produced in our mouth do you think have you ever think about it how it is produced yes there is a gland in our mouth when some external agent stimulate our glands then it start to secrete some secretion based on their function their location their name is also different here this salivary gland secretes saliva just below the tongue there is salivary gland that produces saliva and similarly sometime if something fall in our eye what happens we tear 
why how this tear coming in our eye how is it produced have you ever think just think for some time yes there is tear gland or lacrimal gland just below our this eyebrow or inside our eye and that lacrimal gland secretes tear if something fall in our eye it the tear wash away that external tiny object which is inserted in our eye so in this way this glandular system is also protecting us as well as it is making us active about different things so this glandular system is very important just see here, see here in this picture this is our mouth and there is salivary gland in this salivary gland there are some secretory cell or glandular cell these glandular cells when these are stimulated they start to secrete saliva and that saliva is pass through this ducts small tube like structure do you observe here see from this there is very small tube like structure through this tube the saliva which is secreted by this secretory cells will pass to our mouth it will open to the mouth and it will be collected in our this oral cavity so in this way the some glands secrete some secretion which are passed to the certain place through the duct okay if we see the glandular system see there are different glands in our body there are various type of glands in our body some used to secrete just now we have discussed about the saliva tear yes these are the just juices secretion and some glands produces hormones yes what are hormones we'll discuss later on okay and also some produces some other secretion too here you can see there are different glands are shown here okay here there is pituitary gland thyroid gland it is shown there is kidney above the kidney there is other glands and also there is liver yes have you heard about liver liver also produces some juice what is that juice bile juice and also there are gonads which secretes hormones as well as some other secretions and also there is pancreas which secretes pancreatic juice and in this way we have so many glands in our body based on their structure and their function they may be different but as a whole we call them as a gland or those the collection of all those glands the group of this different types of glands collectively we call it as a glandular system that means the system of our body which is made up of different kinds of glands that is called glandular system in this glandular system it used to perform various function what functions are performed by the glands okay here see there are again different glands we can see here yes then how these glands perform the function why these glands are important to us if these glands are not present what happens have you ever think okay the first function of this gland is it produces hormones enzymes and juices in lower classes we have learned about the digestive system yes excretory system photosynthesis process do you recall yes in that also there is a need of different kinds of enzymes for the digestion yes just like yes amylase peptidase so many enzymes you remember yeah and similarly 
there is we have learned that the bile juice also helps in digestion similarly pancreatic juice also mixed with our food during digestion which also helps in digestion so these are the juices which are very important to our body okay and similarly when we sweat when there is very hot then we sweat how this sweat comes out from our body yes there are some sweat glands that is that collects the extra excess amount of water salt as well as some minerals and it comes out of our body through sweat pore that is also gland and that is so it is also a secretion of our gland and similarly there are hormones what are hormones have you heard yes this these hormones are the chemical substances which are produced by some special type of glands which we call endocrine glands they are playing very important role in our body in growth development reproduction and other so many physiological functions so this hormones are also secreted from this glands in this way they are playing various role that means gland is producing this different types of secretion those are very important to our growth development and also many other physiological functions and this glands also help to keep our body healthy by facilitating various kind of activities for example some hormones are responsible for the reproduction you may have seen some couples are not able to give birth to the baby and some people say that due to there is change in the hormones there is they have some problem in bearing the child and some says that due to hormonal changes the people are becoming mental stress that means they used to be very sad and sometimes they become very ex that means excited and there is anxiety those are also caused due to the imbalance in the hormones so these that means these all activities which are going inside our body are controlled by the glands or the secretion which are secreted by the glands controlling these activities so these glands performing various functions in our body okay we have discussed about the different glands then can i cut categorize this glands into various type or not okay while categorizing we take some basis here based on the presence of duct in the gland we classify the human glandular system into two types that is exocrine gland and endocrine gland just we have discussed in the previous slide that is salivary gland where there were ducts okay here also see exo means which secretion goes out outside endo means inside only okay here the in case of exocrine gland these gland produce what some secretion those secretion are passed to the action site through the duct they possess duct through this duct these secretion are reached to the site of action where they have to perform their function just like bile juice is secreted in the liver but its action site is digestive system pancreatic juice is secreted in the pancreas that is also pass to the digestive system to perform its function so in this way this ducted glands possess small tube like structure those we call as the duct and based on this duct possessing and duct not possessing that means ductless we are categorizing these glands into exocrine and endocrine endo means their secretion directly mixed into the blood 
there is no any ducts in them. See here, there is blood vessel, small blood vessels and by the side of blood vessels, it is endocrine cells or these are the glandular cells. These glandular cells secrete some secretions which is called hormones. These are directly mixed into the blood and these are passed to the site of action through the blood, not through the duct. If secretion pass through the duct, then those glands are called exocrine gland. If the secretion are directly mixed into the blood and pass to the site of action, then the, those type of glands are called endocrine gland. In this way, we classify human glandular system into two types. That is, we can say that ductless gland and ducted gland or ductless means endocrine, ducted means exocrine. Next, how the different types of exocrine glands are? Just have a look. See, there are various types. Single folding there is and there are many folded glands. Some are like this also. Okay, see, Base, their branches are many branches. These glandular cells are arranged in a particular manner and all are possessing duct, all the small duct are combined together and form a big duct through which that secretion come out of the gland. So these are the various types that means various structure of the exocrine gland based on their location, based on their secretion functions, their structure are also different. Okay, some of the exocrine gland and their location just we see here. This is human system, yeah. <clears throat> In the eye, what is there? There is tear gland or lacrimal gland. This tear gland is also called lacrimal gland inside the eye. And inside the mouth, there is salivary gland which secretes saliva. And in the skin, there are sebaceous gland and sweat gland. Sebaceous gland secretes sebum, whereas sweat gland secretes sweat. That means sebaceous gland means what? Have you heard? The slab sebaceous glands are just present beneath the skin or uh, epidermis. Okay, and they, this used to collect just those excess oily that means oil substances and some people have the very oily face those sebaceous glands collecting all oil and just excreting out of the skin which makes the skin oily and sweat gland means they are uh, they are collecting already i have told you that is excess water mineral salt etc and it used to excrete out through the sweat pore and next one is stomach the wall of stomach inside the wall of stomach there is a glandular there, there are different glandular tissue some used to secrete enzymes even our wall of our stomach secrete hydrochloric acid too so there are different secretions are produced and next one is breast or there is mammary gland you know mammary gland secretes milk for the that means during breastfeeding mammary gland secretes milk and which is very good for the babies next one is liver another gland that is liver see this is the largest gland yeah this gland pr produces bile juice which contain various type of enzymes which helps in the digestion similarly pancreas see this pancreas is leaf like structure yeah just at the loop of duodenum it is located and it used to secrete pancreatic juice as well as it used to secrete hormones because of that it is called mixed gland and next one is intestine on the wall of intestine we see the villi inside there is also some glandular tissue which used to secrete mucous substances in this way 
there is gonads also okay in the from gonads also the, it secretes some secretion and some hormones too so the gonads are also called mixed gland this we will discuss later on and what are the functions of exocrine gland now these are the different glands which are the different exocrine glands which are present in a body but what function they perform some of the functions of this exocrine glands are digestion and excretion already i have told you these glands secretes enzyme those enzymes help in the digestion and it used to possess some that means it used to secrete some juices and some other secretion which used to throw out the some unnecessary substances or the secretion which are out of our body so it helps in the secretion as well as excretion as well as digestion next this enzyme already i have told you enzyme act as as a what it is a biocatalyst that means it helps in the digestion and also it helps in other metabolic activities too and because of this that means these activities of the enzymes but it doesn't change its structure anything it just facilitates others other reaction biological or the biochemical reaction which are going inside our body are facilitated by the enzymes because of this character this enzyme is called biological catalyst or biocatalyst in short okay what are catalyst do you remember class na that in lower classes also you have learned about the some chemical reaction where we have learned about the catalyst too yeah that means those substances which do not take part in the chemical reaction but either increase or decrease the rate of reaction those are called ba catalyst here bio catalyst inside the living organism there are various physiological functions are going on and there are various kind of biochemical reactions are going on and those biochemical reactions are facilitated or affected by the enzymes because of that these enzymes are called biocatalyst or biological catalyst now how do these enzymes or the secretion of exocrine gland function perform its action just okay in this picture this is enzyme it is the site of action there are some substrates that means those are the substances which are going to take part in the reaction that is biochemical reaction inside our body okay here two substrates are separate and when this enzyme are combining with this or this are it is facilitated this reaction what happens say these two substances come together with the enzyme and it form the enzyme substrate complex then after this reaction is completed when these two substrates combine together and form a product then this enzyme will be separated from this product and it remain as it is how it was before just it is facilitating the reaction it is not taking part in the reaction okay so that's why it is called biocatalyst similarly see not only it synthesize or it perform the synthesis reaction it also act as a catalytic reaction also that means it also break down the compound into the small molecules also see here there is a substrate which is com that means which is formed by the combination of two different types of substances okay and when this this compound is combined with enzymes it will form just like here it also form the enzyme substrate substrate complex but what is going on here these two compounds which are combined together to form a single complex compound it is going to break down here okay 
and these two compounds are separated and form the two new products but enzyme remaining as it is so here enzymes help just facilitate it doesn't take part in in both reactions see in both reaction here it is combining two smaller molecule and forming a large product or large molecule or single product here a large complex molecule is break down into two simpler compounds so enzyme is acting on as a facilitator nothing is doing okay it is just remaining as it is that's why it is called biocatalyst now just we have discussed about the different types of glands okay now can you identify here group a and group b it is shown just see here there is liver there is that is skin hair shaft and there are another type of gland okay which is possessing duct and here there are other glands which do not have any duct so based on this figure observe these two figures and there are some terms are given here in which group this belong just recall it okay ducted gland which group is ducted gland a or b yes which one a is ducted gland and b is which which one ductless gland then hormones which group it suits hormones ducted gland or ductless gland ductless gland that is b group and enzymes in which group it sorts a very good next endocrine gland what are endocrine glands just we have discussed about the exocrine endo means already we have i have told you that means their secretions are directly mixed into the blood okay they do not possess any kind of duct they are synthesized in one gland but they are directly mixed into the blood and their site of action is different place for example here it is pituitary gland okay just just below the base of the brain there is pituitary gland and it secretes various kind of hormone just like stimulating hormone one of the hormone it is secreted here but its site of action is whole over the body for example follicle stimulating hormone it is stimulate the gonads okay tsh thyroid stimulating hormone in th action is action side is thyroid gland so in this way the hormone is secreted in one place and its function is in the different place this endocrine glands secrete the those hormones that means already i have told you that those secretion which are secreted from these endocrine glands are hormones and hormones always perform the function not at the place of formation they are performing the function in another place of the body that's why these are very important also and these glands what are those endocrine glands which secrete different types of hormones just pituitary gland thyroid gland parathyroid gland adrenal gland are the endocrine gland or the ductless gland all these glands combinedly called endocrine form system that means combinedly form a system which is called endocrine system various gland produce various kind of hormones each and every hormones have their specific function which is very important to our body if there is imbalance in any hormone we feel various kind of disorder in our body so these are very important to us and already i have told you that these hormones are secreted in one gland but their site of action is different from that place because of that these are also called chemical messenger okay why it is hormone called chemical messenger means why it is called can you say now yes that means these are the secretion which are chemical in nature 
okay and they are secreted in one place suppose this is one glandular tissue Indo endocrine gland it is secreting the hormone it is mixed with the blood and it is passed to the certain place where it has to perform its function and there it shows its function because of this it is called chemical messenger once again this secretion of the endocrine glands are chemical in nature that means made up of various kind of chemicals and their site of action is different from the site of production because of that these are called chemical messenger the effects are the of the deficiency of hormones if there is deficiency in the hormones what happens various problems we can see just like effects on the growth and development of the body also it decreases the fertility rate decreases the fertility rate that means the production of babies will be affected another one is there are many health issues sometimes you may have heard the person i'm suffering from the diabetes that is also hormonal cause and thyroid i have thyroid problem many people have the thyroid everyone has thyroid but sometimes there is excessive or minimum secretion of thyroxine hormone cause there is problem in the thyroid and what are the differences between exocrine gland and endocrine gland can we discuss okay just we have discussed about the exocrine and endocrine now let's see what are the differences okay endocrine gland are ductless gland just recall exocrine gland possess duct this endocrine glands secrete hormones exocrine gland secretes enzymes similarly already you know endocrine glands secretion directly mixed into the blood but the secretion of the exocrine gland is passed through the duct to the action site these endocrine glands especially help in the growth and development but exocrine gland help in the digestion and excretion these are the differences between the endocrine gland and exocrine gland next one is mixed gland that means if same gland contain both endocrine nature as well as exocrine nature some part acting as a endocrine gland some part acting as a exocrine gland such type of glands are called mixed gland see here this is the pancreas in this see this there is a there is duct it is possessing duct it is passing and here it is passing to the stomach too and there are small glands see these glands are directly mixed that means their secretion are directly mixed into the blood vessels like this so this type of glands are called mixed gland in the same gland some part is acting as a exocrine gland which is secreting some juices enzymes etc possessing duct whereas some part acting as a endocrine gland which is secreting hormone and those are directly mixed into the blood so this type of glands are called mixed gland if you see the structure see in, in this we can see clearly here it is possessing duct yes this part is possessing duct and these are passed to the stomach side and here these are directly this part is directly mixed in the secretion is directly mixed into this blood vessel so in this way mixed glands are that means these are not different glands but same glands are also performing both function those are called mixed gland and this mixed gland produces enzymes hormones juices all in the same gland and this some passes through the duct and some directly mixed into the blood some example of mixed gland is pancreas and gonad next what are the functions of hormones already we have discussed just recall that means this helps in the physical mental and psycho sorry, psychological development also it helps in the physical mental psychological development it stimulates and control the functions of various organs 
that means in our our body is made up of various types of organs those all organs are controlled by the hormones these are stimulated for the for their function as well as this function of those that means organs are controlled by the hormones also it already we have discussed about the fertility okay uh, for the fertility there is a need of production of egg sperms etc those are also controlled by the hormones even in the sexual quality of the sexual activities of the human body is also controlled by the hormones so these are the some of the functions of hormones even it controls the different minerals in our body so these are various functions of hormones now let's just practice some questions to recall our lesson first question is which of the following gland which of the following is always a group of exo exocrine gland see here first one is salivary gland lacrimal gland liver another one is lacrimal gland liver pituitary gland next option is lacrimal gland liver pituitary gland next one is parathyroid gland adrenal gland thyroid gland so out of these which one is the group of exocrine gland very good it is salivary gland lacrimal gland and liver next question why are hormone called chemical messenger just now we discussed yes can you remember can you recall it control blood sugar level is it it control other glands is it next its production area and work area are different it helps in the growth and development of the body by which region the hormones are called chemical messenger yes very good option c that is its production area and work area is different next question is which of the following is an or adrenal gland in the given figure see here so many glands are shown here which one is the adrenal gland yes here option which one c okay we have practiced these questions to i hope all of you have got much knowledge about the different types of glands so today we conclude here thank you